I, I think honestly, SC2 2v2 would be really good if you couldn't money share. Because like I've played high level 2v2, I learned how to do the best builds. And it's I feel like it's mostly money sharing that just ruins it. Like legitimately all the all the stuff that really sucks is just money sharing, like mass phoenix or mass mutas or whatever. Minerals. It's all just resource dumping into one guy. Not enough minerals. Like I, I think besides that, I think 2v2 could actually maybe flourish, but yeah, just like a lot, of, a lot of things you simply can't beat. Like in some matchups, you literally cannot beat a team beating one guy and making mass phoenix, you know. And that's uh, it, it just makes it a lot worse. Like if, if feeding wasn't a thing, I think two for two could actually be pretty pretty lit. What's going on? What I think is personally cool about team games is that there is more potential technically, you know, because there's. I guess there's like double the moves to be made um, and moves can also be way stronger if you concentrate your power. <laughs> so this sounds like some uh, martial arts knowledge, but yeah, I think it could legit be, be very cool. Some maps in 2v2 inbound for 2v1 in one of the opponents. Yeah, but like for example, you can even do that now with um, with with resource sharing is that on maps where you're separate from your teammate you always do different builds like you wouldn't do the same build on a map where you can get 2v1 easily you know like i it, for, i think it just opens up for strategy and in, in my experience you can actually counter it if you do the right builds uh, like i don't think it's actually inbound to like get 2v1 but you definitely do need to do different builds You're changing from Zerg to Terran, that's the number one thing you should master. Honestly, probably aggression. As, as Zerg, you often don't really have to attack, but for Terran, it's really important that you deal damage. Um, so you probably should learn how to attack a little bit better. It sounds simple, but... Yeah. Like the, and also, you just, I don't mean you have to all in, but you do need to keep in mind that you always have to do some pressure, always do some drops. Always do some kind of attack. Like if you just sit back only, like you could do with Zerg, it's it doesn't work well for Terran. So Skytos siege tank is quite the sight. Yeah, exactly. Mech Mech Skytos is awful, but at the same time, if there's no resource sharing, I don't know if you could get there that easily. Like with resource sharing, it's just free. That's the thing. Uh, <laughs> Shut up, Hyder. Okay, time to play some battle cruisers. Anyone in the mood for some hot wheels? Are we feeling some hot wheels action, guys? I think it's time for some hot wheels. British strategist. Strategist. Little hot. I wonder if I can make my fusion core before the Viking, or if that's just dumb. It's probably dumb. Yeah, it's dumb. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. I don't know if you guys saw it, by the way, but there's actually going to be a PTR tournament in like two hours and a bit. Um, I think it's probably going to be pretty cool to watch. See how. Uh, People play with their first impression on the new patch. Oh no. I did so many things wrong here. I let the Zergling in and I didn't start my fusion core. <laughs> it was actually so late. Who streams it? It's the... I mean, it's called the Wardy Open, so I imagine it's Wardy stream. <laughs> Am I playing in it? Honestly, I was thinking about it, but I don't know. I think... Um, I told myself I shouldn't, I wouldn't compete for a bit, Complete. and even though it sounds fun, I probably should not do it. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. What's going on? Yeah, it's in two hours. I mean, you, usually the first rounds of those things for me are not too interesting to watch, uh, but yeah. Like for me, the tournament starts in three hours, you know, if I want to watch it, but. Not enough minerals. Additional supply depot. 
I actually didn't scout at all in this game, really. Oh. Kinda rude. Give me one. Nice. Take. That's what I'm talking about. Hello? You're allowed to kill it? <laughs> Time to go ham with the hold the wheels. I feel like I made everything a little bit late in this game, to be honest. I'm not a fan of the timings I've had so far. No, no spore? Come on, man. Oh, he does have one. Okay. At least. Get out. You're allowed to mine as well. Yeah, this guy's getting giga farmed, I'm not gonna lie. We really repair these bad boys, huh? Do I need Yamato yet? Probably not. No, oh, correct. I have way too many Hellions. I thought I would lose more by now. Are they important? Yeah, I think I think they are. Like if if you don't make them, you're um but like your timings are actually ass. Like you're you can't even do a two two timing. And also I notice that even when they attack me, I actually tend to have two two during their attack and stuff like that. Like it's actually it's pretty big. Okay, and more hot wheels action incoming. My scouting this game is awful, but it's not because I don't want to scout. It's just because I'm playing really slow. <laughs> What's up, buddy? He actually has zero units, literally. No roaches. Where's the units at? I should have made that. Oh, there's the roaches. Okay. Hold wheels. How many drones have I killed at this point? Feels like I killed uh, five million. Mutas? Nobody's making mutas. The product actually, I'm ahead enough. I can't just make safety turrets. I guess. I already doubt his mutas though. You know, I should honestly be killing creep, but I just like playing hot wheels too much. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time to kill creep. Research complete. 86 workers, nice. You only have plat to zerg, but you struggle so much. Yeah, I think... Honestly, I feel like mech is stronger the, the lower the MMR goes as well, starting at GM. Like, I feel like at top level, mech is not the best, but... Even already at low GM, it feels pretty strong sometimes. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. I'm isolating his zone like mad right now. Hey, okay, hold wheels time. Yeah. Wait, I never got the Amato actually. Oops. Let's get some Cyclones. Didn't make Cyclones in time. 
Oh, that's an actual marine. Okay. Interesting. Sometimes I do feel a little bit toxic when I play mech. Hey, drones. Uh, I definitely made too many tanks. I should have had like a small cyclone squad at this point. That is a... Uh, oh yeah, I guess it works. If I can trade against his links, that would be really nice. Um. Alright. Eh. For a second, I thought he was gonna go in there. Look how many siege things I have. What the fuck, man? Actually, a bit absurd. <laughs> Wait, he's actually attacking it? It's crazy. Talk about a tank line, though. He doesn't even have enough corruptors to kill my. Uh, <laughs> to be able to like two Vatican. I legit haven't used the Yamato yet, over to this point. This guy actually got annihilated. Okay, can we do this unseeged? That's the question. Yeah, we can do it unseeged. Like, it's really hard to kill someone unseeged, though. They always make, like, some links and just kill you. At this point... Probably not though. How <laughs> poor he was? Honestly, probably really poor. Like the early game was terrible. Like even like like the first battle cruiser, I think got like at least ten kills as well. Do you think you'd want to play a game where nukes are like really strong? Like how fucking annoying would it be if you lose every other game to a nuke landing on your army? Like I would legit uninstall so fast. And I people should like it's just like. Yeah. What the hell? I really would not want to play a game where nukes like that are super strong. Like it's already it already does uh, three hundred damage to units and uh, five hundred to buildings. Like it's not weak. It a, a, a nuke is only weak because it's easy to not take damage from it. But like, it it shouldn't be harder. Like I don't know. A, a nuke is something that can really ruin your game experience, no? Like, if nukes were, like, a frequent thing and they would hit frequently as well? Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just my POV, but it just... It seems like it would be very annoying. Yeah, Disruptor... Yeah, for, like, legit. You know how much you hated Disruptor? Like, a, a Disruptor is basically a mini nuke. Against Terran it is, because it one-shots your units. Hey, what's up, Josh? Hey, what build I was... Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to play Marine Dropper, I think. Yeah. The Zerg nuke? What is the Zerg nuke? Uh, a Baneling? <laughs> An Infester? I don't know. Nidus? Ah, Nidus. Yeah, I mean, not like, for example, when, when Nidus is where OP, that was also a horrible gameplay, right? Like, I feel like stuff like nukes and Nidus should never be too strong. Like, it's... Those things are just, they're just really annoying. I feel like, I feel like right now they have a decent place in the, in the game. I wouldn't want either of those to be stronger, to be honest. What's up, Wispy? Welcome to the stream. Okay, but nukes being stronger if the ghost couldn't cloak, and you can see it on the minimap. I mean, then it would be even worse. It's already bad enough, no? Like, I, I don't know. I just don't change nukes, to be honest. They're, they're bad enough. Like, 
<laughs> like, it's, yeah. Don't make them stronger. Don't, especially don't make them worse. The one, the one thing, man, I think, I think Josh was maybe actually there. I don't actually remember who I casted it with, but the one, the one thing that was truly awful was, uh, I once casted my own 2v2 tournament and I watched a nuke land on carriers without killing them. And I, I, my hive was never killed as hard as then. Like, I, I, I watched a nuke land on 20 carriers and they were like orange or some shit like that. Like, they didn't even almost die. That was actually truly tragic. Minerals. And they were EMP'd as well, by the way. They were they were EMP'd carriers that had a nuke land on them completely, and uh, they still didn't die. They they deserve a nuke after being EMP'd. Yeah, yeah, or survive. I think I said deserve. Yeah, yeah, the carrier lives. Well, my gas is actually. Those are really late. Really like this build. This is the first time I've done it in like three days, I think. Maybe you just watch at the exact times. I mean, uh, I've I've been playing mech a lot, but I've uh, I've actually been playing like 3cc Viking BC instead. I'm not actually a huge fan of this build. Like, I feel like it. Oh, I should word it differently. I think this build is is nuts, but whenever I use it, it doesn't seem that nuts. That's the best way I can I can put it. You can go there. Guys, an F2 monster actually. Reactor Marines with two metafacts? Like, that, that's a completely different build. How can you even compare that? That's like a that that's a build where the the BC is like a mind game almost because it hits so late. And it's it's almost like you do some kind of two on one drop first. It's completely different. What's up, Moner? Oh no! Actually. Really good trades, honestly. Not enough minerals. Reviving, reviving. I like, I'm not playing too fantastic, but I feel like that's kind of been the theme of like the last uh, few weeks, to be honest. So, it is what it is. What's up, Mag? Oh, 
How many Zerglings does this guy build? This guy actually a psychopath, legit. Not enough. Every time again, he has 40 more Zerglings. Literal psychopath. Better is better. Mech is better for Zerg. Honestly, on the on these big maps probably. I like playing bio on these maps. It's pretty much impossible. Like my and also my mech needs more practice than my bio does. So might as well do it on the ladder. <laughs> this guy's literally maxed on Zergling or something. Add on complete. Mineral field. Not enough. I, I, got, I forgot the Amato again, didn't I? Oh, I don't have blue flame. That's kind of sad. This would have been the freest trade of my life. I mean, that was still a good trade. Huh? <laughs> this guy legit only makes circles. So. <laughs> Look how many. I already killed like 50. By all zone links, over. Ouch. Ah, big lock ons. Oh, he used his Biles. That's Pog. Now oh, I can actually Amato. Okay. Because this is when I would make Ghost, but I'm too lazy because I've already won. Could launch some repair mules. <laughs> no way that got out. <laughs> That's actually a robbery. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, one shot. Don't be lazy, make ghosts. Ah, I don't know, man. I think I'll just make some more CCs. Use 5k points for me to make some ghosts. What the hell, man? Fine. I'll pretend to make ghosts and then kill him before that's the strat. Yeah, honestly, I think the best the best time to go to ghost is probably uh, after your three three. I think. I saw Ma Maru actually did it once after his fucking 
Tutu. Like, his Tutu was halfway and he started making ghosts. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? But I guess it is Maru, so... Did I actually get... I do have servos, right? I hope. Yeah. Oh my god. Zergling man is added again, dude. How many Zerglings has he made this game? <laughs> it's actually... It's actually a little bit insane. Good thing I maxed on Thor's the natural counter to the Zergling. Right, guys? I literally only have Thor's. It's an army and a half. I was making bailing, that's poker. Look at the Thors. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just so enjoyable watching them A move. It's really hard to explain, but it's just it's just great. Like I don't know. There's nothing better than uh, than watching Thor's A move in StarCraft. <laughs> this guy that she only makes circling. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, you're a psychopath, nasty. 94 workers. Oh, how was that alive for so long? How are these alive? I only have four of my CC's hold keys, but I have like 25 command centers. That's impressive. We need the ghost? <laughs> what do you mean we need the ghost? If I made more Thors, I would have won already, no cap. Oh no, it's Zergling, man. Oh, can we one-shot? Oh, the one-taps! Oh, the one-taps are insane! Oh, the one-taps! Zergling, man, in shambles, as we speak. That was her broken. Uh, Zer Zer I think Zergling Man needs to rethink his strategy. That's that's what I think is going on. Here. Upgrade. Insufficient Vespine gas. Mineral field. Okay. Insufficient Vespine Now we have Hellbats and Ghosts. Insufficient Vespine gas. I feel like my economy is not even that great because I just have a bunch of bases with. Dude, how many Zerglings is he gonna make, man? Do you think I can beat him with my Ghost auto attacks? Oh, oh no, he made investors. His brain is huge. Ah! Yes? You're gonna attack into me? Yeah, it definitely is. That's just his, his entire vibe is attacking into me. Oh. Don't take my battle cruisers. Oh, he's going for it. No, he's not. I want him to attack into me. It'll be fun. Come. Oh, he's going for the sneaky play. I saw you. Ouch. That looks painful. <laughs> Good attempt. He tried. <laughs> he, he did his best. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, but this guy's actually a warrior, right? Do I actually have to go use my snipes? Come here. I'll snipe everything I see. Eggs. Value. No more Zerglings for you, buddy. Zerglings. Snipe the Zerglings. They keep getting cancelled. Oh, there we are. <laughs> 